Taurus, how are ya? Um, this is gonna be a short reading. Sorry guys, I've been sick as shit and I haven't had a voice and I feel like it's gonna go away again. So we're gonna try and bang this one out. It's just for October 28th through the 31st and then I'll pick everything back up in November. Um, so Taurus, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your love reading, October 28th through the 31st. Um, I've been trying to make these quicker because it's only for a couple days and I have so many to catch up on, but it's hard for me to get everything out in just 10 minutes or so. So try and make it as quick as I can. Um, using the Witch's Tarot for my main deck and the Gilded Tarot for my clarifiers, which is new for me. The Gilded Tarot has been my main deck for almost 20 years, so Let's see how it goes. If it resonates, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear all about it. If it doesn't, check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers. There's a ton of them on here. Okay. Huh. Oh, shit. Well, I thought for a minute it was going to be a good one, but whatever. All right, guys. So your overall is the Seven of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and my light is going away again. There you go, Seven of Wands. Um, it's the Stand Your Ground card. You're feeling defensive. You're feeling the need to protect yourself, defend yourself, and whatever, whatever it is going on for you. Um, <clears throat> your recent past is the Six of Wands, though, so that is the Victory card. So at one point recently, you were feeling victorious. Um, not sure what happened, but we'll see. Now your present energy is the Empress Reverse. This is your card, guys, and it's reversed. So what's going on? Why are you feeling, um, like shit? <laughs> All right, so the Empress Reverse is basically lack of abundance, lack of fertility, not feeling grounded, not feeling loving. It's just like, meh. Um, feeling like shit, feeling like nothing's going right. Um, let me see here. I'm just looking at the cards around it to see if I can figure out what's got you feeling so shitty because you have victory in your recent past. So why would you go from victory to just nothing, right? I don't know. We'll see. In your future, you have the two of swords reversed, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be dealing with one, don't have to be. Um, anyway, it's you need to make a decision. You need to cut something out and you're not going to want to. Um, we'll see why. But anyway, that's what we have so far. Now your outcome is the Nine of Wands. This is kind of, now she looks better in this deck than in the Gilded Tarot. But <laughs> it's kind of like you've been battling for so long, right? You've been fighting for something for so long and you're kind of just like, you want to be done with it. Like you're trying to be persistent, right? It's kind of like the wounded warrior. You're still going, you're still fighting, but you know, you don't, you're kind of done. You don't want to, you're tired. You don't want to do anymore. All right, let's clarify. Clarify the seven of wands for Taurus. of fire energy here guys ah oh, fuck what what is up guys okay um clarify the empress reverse Two of Swords reverse for Taurus. Okay. Clarify the Nine of Wands for Taurus. All right, guys. So, to clarify the Seven of Wands, you have the Emperor reverse, right? This can also be you, right? Aries, Taurus, the Emperor. Or you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, anyway, the Emperor reverse is real shitty. 
real fucking controlling, real fucking demanding, like, not cool. Um, if this is a person you're dealing with, and obviously I, I see why you would be defensive, why you feel like you have to protect yourself, because the Emperor Reverse is a fucking asshole. Nobody wants to deal with that shit. Um, anyway, so it could be you taking on that energy, it could, or it could be whoever you're with. Now, there's something I have to point out here. You have the Emperor Reverse in your overall. You have the Empress Reverse in your present, right? That's a couple. All right, so it is a genuine soulmate connection. However, it's it's completely out of balance, completely fucked up, you know, broken, disconnected. The shit's not right. You need to flip it around. Flipped around this way, that is fucking amazing, right? But it's not. Could be, could have been, might have been, but right now it's not. It's all fucking out of whack, out of balance, shitty, whatever. Now, to clarify the Empress, you had Temperance Reverse. Sagittarius, you could be dealing with one. You don't have to be anyway. Like I said, lack of balance. Temperance is lack of balance. Um, lack of patience, that sort of thing. So with the Empress Reverse and Temperance Reverse together, um, I'm going to say you guys really need to take a fucking break. Everything's all crazy out of balance here. You know, you're feeling defensive, like you have to protect yourself because with the Empress Reverse and the Emperor Reverse, that's... <laughs> I don't know how to say it. That's a lot of conflict. That's a lot of combat. Like, these two figures reversed together are like, man, probably fighting nonstop. Okay, so now to clarify your two of swords reverse, right? This decision you don't want to make is clarified by the full. This is an Aries card. Could be dealing with one, don't have to be, but it's a new beginning, right? Um... And it's, it's you taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. So what you have to do, you're not wanting to make this decision. You're not seeing things clearly. You're probably in some kind of fog, whatever. You need to, um, how do I want to say it? You just need to pick a path, right? Make your decision, cut out what needs to cut out and take a risk, take, take a leap of faith. Just jump right in. Um, or that's what you're going to do. Maybe that's not what you should be doing, but anyway, that's what it's telling you you're going to do in the future. Now, your outcome, all right, let me just clarify something here if I didn't before. So when I do past, present, future, right, these are generally, and this is only a three-day reading, but generally they're only a week. So your past for me is always the recent past, say a week or two before the reading, the future is always immediate future like the next the next week the following week whatever and the outcome is like the eventual outcome if nothing here changes but not likely that this is going to be the actual outcome because there's free will i mean what are the chances that that nothing here is going to fucking change ever not likely but anyway nine of wands is clarified by the four of wands reverse this is not a happy home guys this is instability lack of celebration um you know, it's Four of Wands upright is kind of like the marriage card celebration. It's stable. It's a foundation. It's reversed. I mean, you know what that means. I don't really have to keep talking about that. I could forever, but I'm really, really trying to keep this shit short. So anyway, so far we have all of this out of balance energy and it is a genuine connection. It is. I promise you do have a couple there. That's fucking awesome. However, something happened. There's a disconnect. It's not working anymore. It happens, right? It happens. Just get your shit together or cut it out. Whatever you're going to do. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. So we have one advice card. Let's pull your next advice card and then I'll read it to you. What is some advice for Taurus and... October 28th, oh my hair stuck in the colors. October 28th through October 31st. Keep in mind guys, this is just a real quick couple day reading. I'll be back in a few days. Maybe it'll be completely different by then, who knows. Show me another advice card for Taurus, October 28th through 31st in love. So you have hangman reverse, you have 
shit ton of major arcana in this, guys. This is a this is a big week for you. Um, so hangman reverse, right? It is telling you to stop just hanging out, just observing, observing and fighting, it looks like, because fuck. Um, you need to come out of that, all right? You need to do something. You can't just sit there being like, yeah, whatever, whatever. I'm just going to hang out, watch this shit, fight every night, <laughs> whatever. Don't do that, all right? Stop just hanging out. Do something. You have to do something. You have to cut something out, all right? Now, it's clarified by the lovers, guys. This is balance, all right? This is like, it's divine union. It is, it's real balance. It's actual connection. Um, and that is the complete opposite of everything else going on here. Sort of. I mean, the empress and the emperor together. It is like an actual connection. It's just fucked up right now. So, your advice is to... Stop just hanging out and letting things happen. Letting things happen around you, observing, just... You have to come out of that. You have to do something. You have to do something to change this shit. Otherwise, what are you going to do? You're just going to hang out and fight the rest of your damn life? That's dumb. Um, so once you come out of that, once you come out of just hanging out, not really doing shit, then, you know, you have this, you have this genuine connection. So I think what it's telling you is... Um, get your shit back in balance. And to do that, to get your shit back in balance, whether it's with this person or someone else, you have to just stop observing everything and not taking any action. Um, you have to actually take action here. You can't just hang out and expect everything to just fucking get better or whatever if you're not going to do anything about it. Okay? All right, that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in a few days.